So, in current telecity lecture 3, we have discussed about the relation between current density J and drift velocity Vd. That is, J is equal to minus uh, NEA Vd. We have discussed this and derived this equation. And also, we have derived J is equal to sigma E in the previous class, where sigma is equal to N e mu or N e square tau by m. These are all we discussed in the class 3 or lecture 3 and 8. Now, what this is called as? This is generally called as vector form of Ohm's law. This is vector form of Ohm's law. Generally, we say Ohm's law is, is nothing but V is equals to IR. But J is equals to sigma e is also Ohm's law. But that is the vector form of Ohm's law. Now, what is the empirical relation of Ohm's law or what is the basic Ohm's law? And, and, now, let us see what is Ohm's law. So, J is equal to sigma E is the vector form of Ohm's law. Now, now what is Ohm's law? We generally use the equation is for a given conductor at a given temperature, for a given conductor at a constant temperature, the Current flowing through the conductor is the current flowing through the conductor is directly proportional to the potential difference between the ends of a conductor. I proportional to V. The current flowing through the conductor is directly proportional to the potential difference between the ends of a conductor. I proportional to V or R. I is equals to some constant 1 by R into V. Some constant 1 by R into V. This implies V is equals to IR. Plus V is equals to IR. Here R is called as electrical resistance. Electrical resistance. R is called electrical resistance. Now, in some cases, we can also say that the potential is proportional to I, R, V is equals to some constant R into I, R, V is equals to I, R. This is also valid. But most precisely, it is the current flowing through the conductor is directly proportional to the potential difference between the ends of a conductor. Therefore, I proportional to V or I is equals to some constant 1 by R into V, where R is called as electrical resistance. Basically, what is electrical resistance? Resistance means, resistance means, which opposes the flow of current, which offers some opposition to the flow of current, which opposes the flow of current, which opposes the flow of current. If current is high, resistance is low. See, I... I is high means R is very, very, if R is very, very high, then what is the value of I? Uh, if R is very, very high, then I is very, very small. If R is very, very low, then I is very, very high. Therefore, it offers some opposition to the flow of current is known as electrical resistance. Now, here we are saying that V is equals to IR. Now, is that a universal law? V is equals to IR, just like our F is equals to MA. Is that a universal law? It is not a universal law. It is not a basic law. It is an empirical relation. It is an empirical relation between V and I. It is not a universal law. Why I am calling it is not a universal law means, see, if you take y is in the format, what is this format? y is equals to mx. This is in the form of, form of y is equals to mx. We will discuss that, that bit later. Now, what is units of r? Units of r is units of r. What is units of r now? r is equals to v by i. r is equals to v by i. Nothing but volt per ampere. This is voltage. This is current. This is nothing but volt per ampere or simply ohm or simply ohm volt per ampere or simply ohm ohm symbol is this is ohm symbol f for instance is uh, ohm ohm symbol is uh, something like this ohm okay now <clears throat> what is what is symbol here symbol of unity is like this symbol of resistance is 
symbol of resistance is as you know well aware this is the symbol of resistance in some circuits you may get symbol like this that what it indicates is the variable resistance this is a variable resistance that is the resistance is varying this is varying resistance resistance varies from 0 to 100 ohms 0 to 1 kilo ohm then if arrow is like this on the symbol of resistance then it indicates that it is a varying resistance now what i tell you it is not a it is not a, a basic law it is the empirical relation it is the empirical relation which connects voltage and current now why we are not calling it as a universal law now if we call it as a universal law then what should happen what should so what is v is equals to yeah i told you y is equals to mx format if you plot a y mean what is nothing but a graph passing through the origin so what is the value of y here y is voltage v y is voltage v what is the value of x here x is current i x is current i now if you plot a graph what is we will get a graph passing through the origin this is origin o now let us take it as theta this is theta should be a straight line now uh, here what is the slope here slope is equals to m that is equals to tan theta that is equals to dy by dx that is equals to y means v by uh, v by i i means v by i v by i means nothing but resistance r therefore if you graph of v versus i gives resistance r the slope of that graph gives resistance r now we can write also as from this equation we have i is equals to 1 by r into v this also in the format of y is equals to mx only now if you plot a graph of this one what will we again what will we get so y plus i here changes in here y plus v x plus i here y plus is i y plus is i x plus is v again plot a graph that should be a straight line passing through the origin so angle is let us say theta then what is tan theta tan theta is equals to slope slope is equals to m that is equals to tan theta that is equals to dy by dx dy by dx dy means i here i by v i by v is nothing but 1 by r i by v is nothing but 1 by r here the slope of i on x axis v on y axis gives resistance by whereas the slope of voltage on x axis and current on y axis gives reciprocal of resistance we call the reciprocal of resistance as conductance conductance reciprocal of resistance we call it as conductance represented with the letter g conductance represented with the letter g now what is the unit of conductance now so here we discuss unit of resistance is ohm ohm and like this we have taken now volt per meter this is all resistance units now what is unit of conductance reciprocate it what is ohm reciprocate mho mo mho just reverse it mho ohm mo symbol is like this symbol is reciprocated all this also will be reciprocated symbol is like this r here uh, uh, resistance is volt per ampere here it is ampere per volt ampere per volt ampere per volt or another one is so we call this uh, reciprocal resistance as conductance unit is mo or siemens another name here siemens if you get siemens then that is the conductance unit of conductance is also taken as siemens unit of conductance is also taken as siemens okay siemens or mo or also ohm inverse ohm inverse ohm inverse or mo or mo like this or siemens is all the units of conductance now is it valid for all the materials conduct we have materials like conductors semiconductors and insulators now this is this graph will be a straight line if the graph between the current and voltage the graph between the voltage and the current if it is a straight line then those are obey the ohm's law and we call them as ohmic conductors we call them as ohmic conductors we call them as ohmic conductors so what are ohmic conductors ohmic conductors 
means v versus i or i versus v is a straight line is a straight line then such type of materials are called as ohmic conductors which obeys ohms law which obeys ohms law whose graph is a straight line are called as ohmic conductors now what are non ohmic conductors this ohms law is not valid ohms law is not valid empirical relation is valid but the graph is not a straight line such are called as non ohmic conductors plus non ohmic materials non ohmic materials we plot a graph of for those materials suppose a voltage and current we get a graph like this you may get a graph like this you may get a graph like this voltage and current and this is voltage and current we get a graph something like this these are non ohmic conductors for which the graph of v versus i voltage current is not a straight line those are non ohmic conductors that's why i would have i told you that it is not a universal law it is an empirical relation that relates between voltage and current okay therefore the graph of for for which materials this graph is not a straight line this for only conductors only the graph is a straight line remaining materials like crystals gases and thermistors semiconductors transistors zener diodes for all these materials semiconductors gases crystals for all these materials the graph is not a straight line rectifiers triode walls for all these there are not conduct they comes under some some of these conduct comes under semiconductors for all semiconductors the graph of voltage versus current is not a straight line that doesn't obey the ohms law remember the empirical relation v is equal to r is valid but the graph is not a straight line that is the ohmic and non ohmic ohmic means the graph is a straight line and non ohmic means the graph is not a straight line between what we call this voltage and current and now let us discuss the resistivity and all that in the lecture 5 thank you